All right, balance of powers. I've just completed the summer uh, seasonal term, 1915. And let's see where we're at. Let's start with the Western Front. Um, the Germans have had to fall back. Um, they've basically won the defense. The British and French went on the offensive. Uh, and made some gains. The French, though, had some, a couple of bad die rolls, and that has put them, if I go over here, has put their loss of political will up to four. They collapse on seven. So they're in pretty bad shape. I don't know what they're going to do much attacking the rest of the year, if any. Uh, they had a double hit where they attacked. They rolled really low. They lost a point of will for that. They used an attrition option. Otherwise, they would have lost the hex, and they lost that as well. On the political will, we have Ottomans have lost one. The Austro-Hungarians have been pretty fortunate. They've only lost one. Um, the Germans are two. The Brits haven't lost any. Um, so they're in, they're in real good shape. Money-wise, after we got money for the... The turn, and we spent a lot of it. Germans got 19 bucks. Uh, the Russians got 17. The Brits sent them a lot of money. French have 10. Austro Hungarians 11. The Brits are down to just five bucks. So it's going to be kind of a slow summer probably for them. Turks are, or Italians are at five. And where's the Ottomans? They can't have all. Well, they're at seven. Um, so that's where we're at there. We'll go over, back over here and look at the Eastern Front. The Germans start attacking over there because the Russians, they put a big hurt on the Austro-Hungarians. They launched a series of offensives. They still have to take Prismasol. They haven't broken that fort down yet, but they've taken a couple of bargaining chips and have really put the uh, Austro-Hungarians on the ropes. To relieve the pressure on that, the Germans started putting troops over here and attacking. They've taken um, this fort here. I forget what it is. And they've got a siege gun, and they're going to knock down Warsaw and hopefully take that um, for them. Uh, so they're looking to really do an offensive here in Russia and stabilize the situation. Um, the Italians are in the war. Um, this is a bad bit of luck for the central powers. They have one turn, basically, they can, they got a one in six chance of getting Italy to join them. They went for it. Instead of getting Italy, they rolled a one, which gave Italy, Italy joined the war on the Entente side. Now, Italy didn't have any money, so they couldn't do anything for basically that season. But now they have some money. Uh, Austria-Hungary funneled some troops there. That's where we're at there. Um, from the Balkans, Belgrade's been destroyed with that siege artillery, so they're going to try and reduce the Serbs. Greece came over on the Central Powers side. They've moved their troops up uh, into Serbia. Uh, over here on the Ottoman front, the Brits landed uh, in Smyrna, destroyed the fort, um, but they're kind of stuck there right now. Uh, in the Caucasus, nothing much happening. It's kind of a deadlock there. On the naval side, well, with Greece and the war, the Ottomans, um, they combined their navies who were trying to get over and join with the Austro-Hungarian Navy to contest a blockade. Didn't go well for them. Um, both navies suffered significant losses. The central powers are probably done in the naval game at this point. Um, they would have to spend way too much money to rebuild their navies, and I don't think it's going to be worth it. Um, so we're probably just going to be looking at U-boat warfare from here on. Um, overall, so far, I really like it. I like how without having rules that straightjacket you into attacking, you do want to attack, um, especially to relieve pressure on other fronts, uh, and that works really well. Um, the money is just such a key part of the game. You find yourself running quickly out of money, and then so you can't attack everywhere. Um, you have to kind of limit your offensives where you can, uh, you know, to what you really want to do rather than just attacking with everyone. Look at the uh, tactical innovations. They're about the same because um, uh, the Entente, 
uh, did a lot more attacks the last season than the Central Powers did and really built up their uh, TI. So, uh, anyway, we will do the summer. I'll probably swing back by after the summer. Uh, a lot of units in the dead pile are to be built. That ain't never going to happen. There's just not enough money in the game for, for that to happen. But uh, it does make it interesting because you, the way the rules work, you have to build from top to bottom one of each before you can you know, go back. So the, the better German units, they have to go and build one of them, then a two, then a one, then they can go back to a three. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting how that works. Um, all right. Thank <sighs> you.